Hello YouTube. It's been a while. Yes, I did buy this trial deck, even though I haven't really played or touched this game that recently. But today we're just going to talk about the new Altmile trial deck that came out with the three trial decks, the Chronojet and Asha being the other ones. But today I'm going to open this one because Paladins are kind of my thing. So let's we're going to keep it rolling with the theme here. So uh, main reason I did get this was because I did want to upgrade my Gansalot deck, so there will most likely be a video on that. Although, I am kind of interested to see how everyone is doing with the fact that there aren't really a lot of locals to be active in because of COVID-19. So, But I'm going to provide the deck as if you were going to play it in a local competitive environment anyways, just because people are curious about these things. You know, the lost meta of 2020, as people are already saying. So I'm just going to jump right into it. So first, before cracking this thing open, just kind of talk about what's in the back. So we got Milus or whatever it's called. What's his name? Yeah, Milius. Um, I forgot his name. It's been that long. Um, So it gives the full list of all the cards in the back. Uh, 50 cards, gift markers, three pieces, uh, Force 1. Force 2 is on the back, so that's new, so that you can alternate between the Force Markers front and back. Comes with a Quick Shield, uh, and part of the context of this is also like a paper play mat. Um, how to guide, first guide, all the things you need to know when you're starting out the game. So we're going to basically see if this thing holds up to standards of if you're going to be completely new to standard and see if you want to play. So I got my little little box cutter there, which I did not even get in properly. Yeah, that'll work. Let's get on the other side. Yes, you can just peel these off normally, but what's the point of doing that, right? Make things fun. All right, so took off the easy to peel lid that I didn't feel like easy peeling. Right away, what do we get? We have our first guide. So this is the thing that basically tells you how to play the game, what to look, you know, what to keep an eye out for, unit introduction, token units, trigger units, uh, how order cards work. Uh, you can only use orders once per turn, uh, grades, how to ride, uh, play mat zones, ride phase, attack step, resting, you know, all the stuff that you learned when you're starting out the game. So uh, handy and for little information there. This is the paper play mat that comes with it. So usually these come with like a pretty cool designer advertisement on the back. So open that up. So this one, if I can't, if I don't rip it, I'll open it up. Whoop, I heard a tear. Come on, come on. Fold open, there you go. It's a little flimsy paper mat. And on the other side, Comes with like some information about it, how to dis display the bravery of Royal Paladin. Oh, they threw in the brave keyword in there. Comes with some cool neat info. Keep an eye out for more support in the future. So a little, the next stage booster coming out, stuff like that. How to use imaginary gifts, uh, the little gift marker. So good information if you're new, completely new to the game. You can read up on that real quick. And uh, to the part that everyone wanted to get to, the cards. So there's 50 card main deck, and I believe there's one quick shield, and I forgot how many gift markers were in here, but we're about to find out. So right off the bat, I'm gonna slide the little uh, plastic thing, unless they don't slide anymore. Do they peel now? Looks like... It should still slide. Yeah, it still slides out. It's a little tight there. Cool. So right off the back, we got our... Oh, our foils are first. I forgot about that. So we have a foiled copy of our Blue Sky Knight Altmile, a foiled copy of our Absolute Blade Knight Lavarlo, which is a really, really good staple for a lot of Royal Paladin decks. Keep an eye on that. Lunar Crescent Knight Felix, which is really good for the Altmile variant deck. So also really good, so can foil the deck out. So those are the foils, move those aside. So on to the grade threes, start off first. So we have the deck basically does come with four copies of Blue Sky Knight Altmile. So Altmile skill is uh, during your turn, 
Uh, if you have no face-up cards in your damage zone, it gains 15k. That's on Van and Rearguard Circle. So it's really good because of continuous ability. Um, and the other skills on the Vanguard Circle, once per turn, you kind of bless one, discard a card from your hand, and look for two grade twos, reveal them, put them in your hand, and you can shuffle your deck. So this is really good um, for getting, you know, your beat sticks. You can use Levarlo as your as one of your search target, targets, which helps, you know, look for more grade twos, filling up your board. Has really good synergy with the uh, next stage support, all the grade twos in there, like... Uh, Starlight Violinist. So you get four of them in the trial deck, so that's really good. So it's a really good skill, especially since grade threes with rear guard skills uh, have a lot of value in game because you know they don't just sit in your hand or just focused on rewriting over and over. So right off the back, you know, all miles are really good grade three to work with. So the backup it comes with, it comes with only three more grade threes, which are uh, Unite Reet Dragon. Uh, skill vent or rearguard circle auto when placed from your hand. Uh, you cannot, you soul blast one, sorry, and you call a grade two from your hand. And if you called one, you draw a card. So it has a Sagramore uh, vibe to it. So battlefield storm Sagramore is kind of the same thing. Uh, so it's, but it's only when you call a grade two instead of just any cards. So you call a card, you call a grade two, you can get draw cards, you get a resource back. Um, overall, I'm just gonna say this is a pretty bad card because. <laughs> Uh, the, the, the draw you get out of it doesn't really warrant the fact that this thing doesn't do anything else after you place it. And since you want to be calling a bunch of grade twos to your board anyways, this doesn't really help. It doesn't gain power. Um, it doesn't really help you consistently work with more beat sticks. And, you know, the fact that you only have a, you have a limited board to work with and this kind of sits there unless your opponent attacks it. It's, I can, it's a trial deck card for sure, but uh, you definitely want to be getting rid of this uh, as soon as possible <laughs> if you plan to upgrade the deck. So moving on to the grade twos, uh, the, here are the three other copies of Lavarlo. So the deck does come with four copies of it. So the skill of Lavarlo is when placed Van or Rearguard Circle from your hand, you cannot blast one, search your deck for up to one grade two card, call it to an open rear, Shuffle your deck, and if you don't have face-up cards in your damage zones, you can pay a Soul Blast in for the cost instead. So, basically the plan is to counter blast as much as possible so that you only use Soul Blast for this cost. But if you do have to go early game, ride this, counter blast, you know, it's always good. So the fact this card, what I love about this card is it's one of the most versatile cards that I've ever seen in Vanguard. The fact that it is a card that's not super reliant on your opponent giving you resources. So if your opponent does counter damage you, you do pay the counter blast. If they deny you, you can still pay the cost another way, which I really like about this card a lot. So Lorello is probably one of my favorite cards in the game right now, just because it has that versatility in its skill of if you can't pay a cost, pay this instead, which I think is really nice. So Lavarlo is definitely probably one of the MVPs for this deck. So moving on to the other grade twos, it comes with only three copies of Vanillas. So it has this card is no skill. Uh, it just has the 10k base and the extra uh, 5k shield because most grade twos with skills only have five. This one has the extra 10. So just a defensive card. The artwork looks nice. Uh, yeah. Yeah, it's a vanilla. You come in your trial decks, your forced trial decks. It only comes with three, though, so that's cool. At least you don't have to worry about taking too much space. Next up for grade twos, comes with two of these. Sage of, Sage of Contemplation, Taden, or Tudden, Tedden. Uh, act, main phase once per turn. Counter blast one, soul blast one. This gets 15k. So this makes sense. Uh, you want to counter blast as much as possible, take advantage of those... Uh, no face-up damage car uh, effects. Uh, getting 15k is, you know, you're basically become a beat stick. Uh, if you're playing Force 2 and you put a Force 2 marker on this, you have a 24k beater with an extra crit on top of it. Um, you're playing Force 1, it becomes 34. So overall, it make, you know, it's a good card first for a trial deck. Definitely want to get rid of it, though, as soon as you can, because it's, you know, it's not much other than just power when you want the deck to be about a mixture of power and building a board at the same time. So this is a good target for calling with Lavarlo or with Alt Mile if you're searching out, if you really want to push, get that beater number in. But you're going to replace it with other cards like Sullivan and uh, uh, Starlight Violinist in the future. 
Next up, that was it for the grade twos. So now it's starting off with the grade ones. So we have three only three copies of this card is a Pioneer Knight Hepaticus. Uh, during the battle that it attacked the Vanguard, it gets 3k. So we've had cards like this before in trial decks, like the first two, or the first trial, yeah, the first two trial decks where they had those, like, or was it, I think it was actually in VBT01 we had those cards, so that was my mistake, where it's when it attacks the Vanguard, it gets 3k. The 11k beater doesn't really matter anymore because base Vanguard grade 3 bases are at 13 and 12k now, so this doesn't do much unless you have a booster behind it. Even then, it becomes a 19k column at best. And it, it's okay for the most part, but definitely a card that you don't really... you or It's kind of just a filler spot. You want to get rid of it as soon as you have better cards. So you want to keep that in mind. So it's okay. Uh, next up, we have the other three copies of our Lunar Crescent Knight Felix. So I'm going to bring them back over here with the foiled copy. So... Card's really great for alt miles starting out, but you can always play different variants without it. But I think the card is great. Uh, it's on place, Vanner, or no, I'm sorry, not on place. When in, it attacks or boosts, Vanner, rear. Uh, you soul blast one, return a unit from another, a rear guard from another column to your hand. So you're bouncing, getting a card back as resources. And then this unit gets 5k. So that's pretty important because uh, your main targets are going to be cards that you think will have a defensive value or you want to reuse again. So cards that come to mind are going to be these two. Move those a little bit. So uh, you probably you might want to bounce the Varlo just so you can reuse its skill again when it's placed from hand. Uh, you might want to bounce back your Lucas because it has a 10k shield, and if you're you think your opponent's going to just attack it, and you can't won't be able to use it as an interceptor, you can just guard it from hand. Um, other cards like maybe you do want to bounce back. That grade three, since it's not going to do anything again for the next turn, and you can you repay the cost with the Soul Blast again to get that draw. So there are cards that you do want to bounce back from your board. Just having cards back in your hand is always good to have. So that's why I think Felix is a pretty good card. And on top of that, the 5k is always going to help. You can always be 5k away from your opponent not being able to guard an attack. You know, So those 5ks always make a difference, so it's good to keep in mind. So I believe, if I'm correct... The only agreed ones that we have left are, so for one, we have two perfect guards, I believe. Let me see. Just to make sure. Oh, no, look at this. So that's funny. I haven't rearranged the cards in any way, shape, or form, but the cards came kind of mixed up. So we got to extra grade threes, extra grade twos. So it looks like there, there was the ratios were all mixed up, so I'm going to have to go back and fix that. So we had an extra that, extra that, extra that, extra that, extra that, extra that. And I will just put the rest Milas in the back so we know. And there's a foiled heel back there. So I'm going to try it. So I'm going to fix that order real quick. So we're going to go back. And apparently we had a fourth copy of Unite Reet, a fourth copy of Lucas, four, a third copy of Taden, and we had a fourth copy of Pioneer Knight. So uh, next up. We have two copies of Melodious, so Melodious Angel. Uh, you act once per turn, counter blast two. You draw a card, and if you have no face of cards in your damage, then you counter charge. So that's really helpful because if your opponent had damaged you twice, and you want to take advantage of the fact that you can use Lavarlo's Soul Blast instead of a counter blast, you can use this first to draw a card. And then if you have no face-up cards afterwards, you can counter charge one. And then afterwards, you can maybe use that one counter blast for Alt Miles skill to counter blast, discard a card, and then get two grade twos. And then now, because you have no face-up cards in your damage, that your Alt Mile gets that extra 15k to be that strong beat stick. So uh, good card, but overall, I definitely think you'll want to get rid of it for better resource management and other cards that help you gain soul. So, so examples such as Akane and Pongol come to mind. So those are cards that you'll probably want to substitute for things like this. Even though getting a draw is good and that one counter charge, um, you probably will want to substitute it for something else in the future. So this deck comes with four perfect guards, but three of them are grade ones. So this was one that came in the, I believe it's the um, Aerial Sea Liberation. It's actually the same one as this playmat's from. I believe it came in this set. Uh, when it's placed from your, uh, doesn't matter if it's placed from deck or hand, 
Uh, when it's placed, you discard a card from your hand, choose one of your units, and it cannot be hit to the end of battle. So perfect guard skill. The other skill is when it's placed on the Vanguard Circle for when you ride it, you draw a card and then discard a card from your hand. So this helps you draw, draw and drop cards that you might not need, help filter through the deck a little bit. But you do basically want to try and be running your uh, Trigger Sentinels. So you can either run the Crit one, which is coming out in next stage, if you want to do that that variant, or you can run full set of Assault PGs. So I believe that is it for the Grade Ones. And since this whole thing is kind of mixed up, I'm going to try and rearrange the triggers real quick so we get a better depiction of what's in here. All right. Do, do, do. OK. This also helps because I kind of get a better understanding of how they built this thing. Cool. So, uh, right off the back, I'm going to start with the heal because that's our foil trigger. So for the trial deck, you get kind of like a random foiled card. So for this one, it was the heal trigger, which I think is pretty cool because that could be nice in premium if you want to play a premium variant with foil triggers. So the healing Pegasus is just your standard retrain from the original alt mile trial deck, which is nice. It's a high beast which can be important depending on what Royal Paladin deck you play. Maybe you play Premium and you need High Beast heal triggers um, for like that fun Garmore play back in the day. Oh, those days. Those were the days. Uh, so yeah, your standard heal trigger, 20k shield. Yeah. It's got it foiled. So this deck comes with uh, seven crits instead of eight. So you have four of the Epina crit and three of the Flogo crits. So they're just vanilla crits with 15k shield. And then for the rest of the triggers, it comes with five draws, four of them being just regular 5k defense, 5k shield, 5k base draw triggers, and one uh, flash shield assault, which I think is really nice, the fact that they're reprinting the draw PGs, even though they are just common. It's nice that we can have them back in circulation so that these kind of just don't skyrocket out of nowhere. Um, so if you do like buy four of these, you'll have a full foiled out set of grade three of Altmile, Felix, and um, Lavarlos. You'll have four Assault PGs, and then boom, you got your Trigger trigger Sentinels. You can get rid of the grade ones. Um, you don't have to worry about running vanilla draws. So I think that's nice. So uh, I think the retail price for these trial decks are about 15 to 20 bucks, depending on where you find them. So if you do want to spend 16 to $80 on trial deck cards, just to foil out and get your results if you're starting out in the game, you can do that. Or assaults, they think last I checked, they were like 11 bucks, maybe they're more, maybe they're less. Uh, you can just buy those if you want, uh, if you want like foiled ones. Uh, the assaults are also being reprinted in the future with this, uh, there's a set that's coming out, it's reprinting a bunch of forerunners, or not forerunners, a bunch of starting vanguards and uh, triggers and other really important uh, high rarity cards from all clans. Uh, so you can keep an eye out for that as well. So it's nice to have these, these uh, trigger uh, sentinels back in circulation. Uh, next up, so last but not least for the grade zeros, we have our starting vanguard, which is Shining Knight Milius. When wrote upon, you draw a card. And then what's cool is they added the ruling text about how the quick shield works into the skill, which is, if your opponent's Vanguard is grade one or greater, put a quick shield ticket in your hand. So uh, the question is going to be asked, uh, if I have a starting Vanguard that does not say this skill, does that mean I don't get a quick shield? Uh, the answer is no. You still get a quick shield even if it doesn't say so because it's written in the rules of the game and it's not just a skill ability of the card. It's just written in there as a reminder to help you kind of progress through the game without forgetting about the quick shield. So... Every starter with this Road Upon draw card skill has been errated, um, or just in general saying that if your opponent's Vanguard is grade one or greater, you got a quick shield ticket to your hand. Pretty sure that that's how the game is errated, that if you're basically going second, if your opponent's Vanguard's at grade one, you get a ticket. And the ticket looks like this. So quick shield, uh, one of your Vanguard, one of your uh, attack units gains 5K. So it's a blitz order. So it's that little red symbol right there on the left side. So Blitz Order means you can activate this in response, like a counter to your opponent's card or attack. So Blitz Order can be used during the guard step, so that's what that means. 
and is regarded as being called from all clans, is a ticket card, cannot be put in a deck. So uh, you just basically give a unit 5k, so it's like a little, it's a free 5k shield you get. You can discard it for fodder, so it's like an, it's an extra card. Uh, it's still considered a grade zero unit, so if your opponent has cards that say your opponent can't guard with grade zeros, this is still affected by it. Uh, the next stuff that comes in this is one single uh, grade two order, uh, normal order, so that means you can only be using it during the main phase. So it's counterblast two. You one of your units gains twenty thousand until the end of the turn. I believe all the trial decks come with this uh, order. The first, the Chronojet, Asha, and Altmile come with a copy of this. I, but obviously, this one works the best in the Altmile trial deck because. It's a heavy counterblast cost of two in a deck that benefits you for paying large amounts of counterblast. So that's going to be helpful a lot if you want to play this order, get those counterblasts out of the way, give something a bunch of power, push for game. You can do that and it works well in this, you know, in this deck. So uh, the other clans, I really don't think this order works as well, but for the alt mile trial deck, I think it can work fine. So another reason to buy four trial decks, you'll get more copies of this if you want to. Uh, last but not least, we got our double-sided gifts. Uh, I think this is just to help, you know, not take up so much space in uh, deck boxes because nowadays you kind of have to run like eight for Force Clans, about eight to ten gifts depending on how what your grade three lineup is. So imagine running sixteen to twenty cards and keeping it in a deck box, which now you can just keep the ten. So that's nice to have, you know, double-sided cards. You can just pick and choose which one, and it doesn't really matter because once it's there, you can't flip it over. So, yeah, these are nice. I, I appreciate the, the the fact that we got them double-sided now. Uh, so that's pretty much the contents of this trial deck. So things to keep out an eye on for are basically the cards that you're for sure going to be keeping if you decide to upgrade this deck are for sure going to be the Felix, the Lavarlo, and of course, the star of the deck, Alt Mile. So everything else, you can kind of get an idea of what you're keeping. Keeping the crits, keeping Melius for obvious reasons. You want to get uh, your four assaults. Uh, you're probably going to be running eight crit for a draw, maybe twelve crit if you're going to play the Sentinel critical instead. Um, your four heals, obviously. Um, everything else in this deck, for me personally, I don't think you're going to end up running in a competitive variant. So I don't see this being competitive. This definitely not competitive. This probably definitely not competitive at all. Maybe as a one of, it's a vanilla, so it's not going to be competitive. This card just straight up is bad in my opinion. Um, any other grade three, even Palamedes, is probably better than this because Palamedes at least helps you get soul, gains five k when you soul blast because, like, you have cards uh, like Lavarlo and Felix that soul blast. So every time you soul blast, Palamedes gains five k. So. If you're playing a budget variant, that's what I would keep an eye out for. You know what? I might make a budget deck list based on what comes in the trial deck and what you can add that's pretty cheap to make it, you know, sustainable. Um, yeah, I just came up with the idea right now. So maybe you guys will see that in the future. So, um, yeah, that's basically been it. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'm sorry the cards came unorganized out of the box. That was really weird. I've actually never experienced that where, like, triggers and grade threes and cards were just all over the place. So... Very weird packaging detail, Bushy. But uh, overall, this thing is pretty decent. Uh, if you're starting out, this is a great fun deck to play. Pretty easy play style, which is just get a bunch of great twos, spend all your counter blasts, get all the bonus bonuses out of having no counter blasts, and just go from there. Four sticks are really easy to play. Highly recommend it for beginners. Uh, all three of these trial decks are all force clans, so really easy for everyone when you're getting started. And yeah, those are my two cents about the trial deck. So hope you guys enjoyed and I'll see you all in the next video. Bye.